Hello, I'm Dr. Disler, author of the Brick Math Series, Teaching Edition, and Student Workbooks for Teaching Math to Grades K to 8. This is a 12 book series beginning with count, counting and cardinality and continuing through fractions. Uh, eventually, we'll move into middle school. Today, I'm going to introduce you to teaching, counting, and cardinality, and we're going to be doing activity from chapter 7. So we're going to begin with the idea of counting. You know, counting is thought to be an easy task, but there's a lot more to counting than meets the eye. Today we're going to discover the terms more than and less than. We're going to be using chapter 7, page 40 through 42 in the teacher book, and we're going to be working with the student workbook as well. And we're going to be using chapter 7, pages 48, 49, and 50. So as I take you through this activity, the idea is that students will discover the meaning of the words more than, less than, and equal to, and the symbol or the syntax that goes with these words, these mathematic terms. One of the things about math is that um, as teachers, we should be encouraging the discourse and the use of the syntax within the vocabulary of the math. And we'll see that as we move towards this activity. We're going to begin this activity with a single base plate. And some of the things you may want to have on hand as you begin this process might be some colored markers, the brick math set, and that set actually comes with um, a smaller set for younger children for just one student or a two student set as you see here, which I'm going to be using for the demonstration today. In this activity, we will be looking at how students understand counting from the idea of visual models that present numbers that are greater than and less than one another. And we're going to begin with part one, show them how, as each lesson is divided into two parts, show them how and show what you know. So the show them how number one on page 41 will be building the number nine using studs. Now students might approach this in a plethora of ways. We are going to actually begin with three one by one bricks. Students could use, I mean three one by three bricks, excuse me. Students could use nine one by one bricks. As we do this, you will see that we have the number nine by simply asking students to use one-to-one -one correspondence and count with you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the student book, I've already completed the student workbook section so I can show you how the students would approach the task. Students would actually draw the nine bricks on their base plate and label this as part A. It asks them to build several numbers and each one will be identified with a different letter. And it asks them then to write a math sentence and to identify the number of studs using one-to-one -one correspondence. As you can see here, I've colored, shaded in nine studs, written the number nine, and here I've written a statement that says this model has nine studs. It is called model A. As we move forward in the teaching manual, it then asks the students to build another model that has one more than model A. So in this case, we would be building the number 10. So we would be looking to see if students could identify that we would build the number 10. We would build the original nine that we had. And I like to use a different color here so students can see the two models side by side, but also identify them as different. And in this case, I have my original model, nine, and I've added one additional stud. In the student book, on page 49, we see here where I have now drawn that model, labeled it B, identified it as having one more stud, and I've written a statement, Model B has 10 studs. It has one more stud than Model A. In the teacher's manual, next it asks them to build a model of 12. So I will build the model of 12 on the same base plate. I 
like so, and I would count the studs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I would then refer back to the student manual, where I have now drawn this as model C, and follow the same process as before. After the students have gone through several activities in this book, it also asks them to complete an assessment. The assessment for this chapter is on page 55. And you'll notice on the assessment, it's a very short assessment, just asking them about the standards and learning targets that were covered in this particular lesson. So today we've covered more than and less than and cardinality and counting with the Brick Math Series by Dr. Shirley Disler.